weekend rave party near Ringwood. The official permit allowed 8,000 to attend, but 12,000 partygoers turned up, and all with valid tickets. Now anyone else planning a pay party will have the police looking even harder at their application, as Nigel Burwood now reports. All day, the council that said yes to the biggest official rave in Britain has had its staff counting the tickets. Organisers of the all-night pay party at Matcham Stadium near Ringwood had a licence for 8,000 people. In fact, 12,000 turned up and all had valid tickets. It was easy to check because each had a special hologram. It seems that 4,000 extra tickets were printed. Clearly, by them being more than 8,000 tickets sold, they've broken a condition of the licence. That condition also affects many more which are based on it and clearly now, having counted them, there are more than 8,000 tickets, and I shall be talking to the lawyers and the members to see what course of action they may wish to take as a result of that. The council and Dorset police say the extra numbers did not put public safety at risk. They had a contingency plan and consulted fire and ambulance officers before letting everyone in. But the police officer in charge is concerned about the extra tickets that were sold. But we're not killjoys. Uh, we, we support our youth in the community and, and you know providing it's well run and, and properly constituted and properly conditioned and they're, they're complied with then fine but uh, when things don't quite work out that's when we have severe reservations. The police operation will cost Dorset charge payers at least £70,000. During and after the event 150 people were arrested for alleged drug or public order offences. So does the council now regret having granted a licence for the Matchams rave? had very few complaints about it and I think we have public meetings coming up with the residents where we'll obviously get the feedback from it. So at this stage you wouldn't rule out another party of, of that kind? So get to all the conditions being met, no. But the organisers, timeless events at Cheltenham, will be asked some searching questions about why there were so many extra tickets.